everybody and welcome to our channel. My name is Sam. I'm Ryan. And today we're talking about nepotism babies. I don't know why I said nepotism babies like that. I don't know why you said nepotism like, babies like that. Nep Nepotism, nepotism babies. babies. If you don't know what we're talking about when we say nepotism babies, ah, Ryan, take it away. What's nepotism? Nepotism is when you are born into immense privilege and take advantage of it. For example, just off the top of my head, let's say you release an album and your parents single-handedly buy like a billion copies so it goes to the top of the charts, Ariana Grande. Or if you <laughs> have a father who's a label exec who just keeps pounding you through the door until you finally catch on Taylor Swift. That's what nepotism That's, is. That is what nepotism when is. When you're born into power and you seize the power you're born into to secure <laughs> opportunity, regardless of whether or not you deserve it. A lot of people deserve all the hype that they get, regardless of the fact that they were born into powerful families. And Absolutely. we are going to decide where they fit on a tier list based on the nexus of opportunity and talent. Other famous examples, all of the Kardashians and Jenners. <laughs> they won't be on this list. Too many of them. Mm -hmm. All you ah. have to do is get an obviously guilty murderer free and then suddenly your family has a reality TV show. Well, don't forget about the sex tape. What? Kim Kardashian's sex tape is like one of the things. But that's, that's not propelled. nepotism. She didn't f her father. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> Let's read out our little tier list categories where everyone is going to be ranked. Starting at the bottom, no one wants this. Literally no one. You've been propelled to the top of some industry. You don't deserve it and none of us want it. The next tier up, do you even want this? Like, this is kind of where I'm like, okay, maybe you've done something, but like, I can't even tell if you want to be here. It's not yeah. that no one wants to here. Someone does, but like, do you even want like, were your parents actors and wanted you to be an actor too? And that's why you have your own Netflix show? And you have like some fans, but you feel like you're stuck? Yeah. Tear up from that is opportunity over talent. You've been given amazing opportunities and you're taking them, but your talent just isn't up to snuff with the opportunities that you are being given. The tear up from that, talent meets opportunity. Mm -hmm. This is where we feel the opportunity that you were given to be born into immense privilege and the talent that you actually have and use are relatively balanced and you can't really hate someone for that. Yeah. And the top tier is talent beats opportunity. These are the celebrities that you, you don't even care who their parents are or how they got there. They're just so talented. They've, they've made their success their own that you don't need to Google any of the relatives. You're just like, wow, so glad you're here. Those are our tiers. This is a tier list. Should we start sorting these Let's nepotism babies? Let's do it. All right. I love the drama. First up, we have Ben Platt. A lot of people don't know that Ben Platt is a nepotism baby, even though it did kind of circulate Twitter and TikTok after the Dear Van Hansen movie was made. Ryan, tell us about Daddy Platt. If you Google Mark Platt, Ben Platt's father, these are just the movies he's produced, not to mention the Broadway musicals he's produced, of, of which Wicked and Dear Evan Hansen are a part. Just, sorry, I feel like we need to like really let that sink in for a second. Wicked and Dear Evan Hansen. Wicked has made over a billion dollars with a B. Mark Platt is a producer of Wicked, the Broadway musical, and Dear Evan Hansen, which his son <laughs> originated and started. <laughs> and won a Tony and, and a it, Grammy for yeah. Okay, so he also has his hands in movies. He's producing the Wicked movie, the Dear Evan Hansen movie. He's producing Snow White, the Little Mermaid that hasn't even come out yet. Let's see what has come out. Then. Mary Poppins Returns, Cruella, Rent Live, Into the Woods, the Aladdin movie, Legally Blonde. Grease Live. La La Land. This, like this is one of the most powerful and winningest commercial producers alive right now. He's the head of Universal, correct? No. Prior to becoming an independent producer, Mr. Platt served as president of production for oh. Orion, TriStar, and Universal. For me, this is very obvious, and it actually has a lot less to do with Ben than it does ha with his father. Interesting. Ben is immensely talented, Absolutely. and my first instinct is put him on the top of the list because yeah. he's so good. But the top of our list is talent beats opportunity. Mm. 
Is there anyone, is there any mortal being who could beat the opportunity of being born to the man who produced all of the movies and Broadway musicals Ooh. that we just named? Is there any mortal alive? I don't think so. I don't think so. So I think this just has to be talent meets, meets opportunity. Meets opportunity. I think that's a really good point. Ben is incredibly talented, such a unique talent that I'm so glad is out there in the world. But again, I think he rises to every opportunity that this nepotism has potentially granted him. And I'm glad he's taking the work. I think it's talent meets opportunity. Next up, Miley Cyrus. Miley freaking Cyrus. If you're like, what do you mean that's nepotism? She was on Disney Channel. Like, she's Hannah Montana. Her dad is Billy Ray Cyrus, of lesser known fame by this point. Uh, he was a famous country singer. Don't break my heart, my, my achy, achy, breaky, breaky heart. heart. This one feels pretty immediate to me. Miley Cyrus is a worldwide superstar who in my opinion has only made her dad more famous mm -hmm. because of her. It's like a reverse nepotism. Yep, yep. Like there was a switch. Absolutely. Miley Cyrus is talent beats Meets opportunity. opportunity. She is incredibly talented. And again, when you have that little like nepotism switch, it's right. like, oh God, like <laughs> the student becomes the master. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Next up, Noah Cyrus, Miley's sister. Yes, Miley's younger sister, so, who is a musician as well. Yeah, so Noah got the bump off of her dad's fame and probably more so off of her sister's sister. fame after the fact. Noah, I think, is the opposite of her sister. If Miley is talent beats opportunity, I think Noah is opportunity over talent. Mm, interesting. I will say I, I've liked a few of the songs that Noah has released. And Nothing I, and I lasts think forever. Yeah. So wouldn't it be, be nice, nice to stay together for the stay night? Stay together for the night. And then that's forever, so wouldn't it be nice to stay together for the night? I think that Noah clearly wants this opportunity, and I do think she does have talent. But if I'm being completely honest, I, I think there are a lot of talented singers and a lot of talented songwriters in the world, and I don't know that the opportunity that she has with like the nepotism of Miley and Billy necessarily. Right, her sister is Miley Cyrus. Her yeah. dad is Billy Cyrus. Has mm -hmm. she beaten that? No. Has she met it? I don't think so. Opportunity over talent. Yeah, opportunity over talent. There we go. Next up, Zoe Kravitz. Yeah! Oh, I love her. Catwoman. Catwoman herself. Uh, Zoe Kravitz is an actress and also a co-writer on Lavender Haze by Taylor Swift from the Midnight's album. Let's go, Zoe. If you did not know by her last name, uh, Zoe Kravitz is the daughter of Lenny Kravitz and Lisa Bonet. Legendary rock star and, and actress. actress. Yeah. So, you know, big, big old nepotism pot. Big nepotism being pot. Being stirred there. But what I do like is I feel like even though she has like Lenny Kravitz's last name, which is a very well-known last name, I feel like she's pretty honest, but also respectfully quiet about her nepotism. Like she, she's not one of those people that's like trying to hide it, like as if she's like made it on her own or mm -hmm. is like self-made. She's like, yeah, my dad is Lenny Kravitz and my mom is one of the most beautiful women on this planet. Mm -hmm. Like, and I think she's a really good actress. She's great. I think this is a talent meets opportunity moment Absolutely. if I've ever seen one. I, th I think she rises to the occasion Absolutely. of nepotism. Next up, Hailey Bieber. If you did not know, we are not referring to the fact that Hailey Bieber is married to Justin Bieber, which could be nepotism in and of itself. But her uncle is Alec Baldwin. Famed murderer slash actor, yeah. Alec Baldwin. Little double dipper in the nepotism sauce. Absolutely. You know, a little uncle, a little husband. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 I mean, her dad too, but I think her uncle is way more famous than her dad is. Uh, I would make that argument as well. But like, when you, if you really want to see how far this nepotism goes, Hailey Bieber met Justin Bieber at like what I would consider peak 2010 Justin Bieber fame when she was with her dad. And it was like this like, oh, this Baldwin like wants to meet 
Justin Bieber to like give him a book or something. And there's this really awkward video of Haley like kind of shaking Justin's hand. And it's like a full fan meet and greet. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you've been blessed by the soft current of nepotism. Does your dad know Justin Bieber? <laughs> no? Then it's not you, sweetheart. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, Hailey Bieber had her own modeling career and all that good stuff, but I feel like, honestly, modeling is the easiest route for nepotism babies who are pretty. And obviously she's married to Justin now, but her, her kind of online presence isn't giving me the energy that she like wants an audience mm. or like wants the opportunity of yeah. being a celebrity. She just wants a simple life of being married to the most famous pop star in just the world. Just a simple life. So you're kind of saying, do you even want this? I'm saying, do you even want this? I think because... that's a great place for her. Next up, Chet Hanks. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people don't even know who we're talking about. And honestly, good for you. If you ever just decide to do a deep dive into what Chet Hanks is, <laughs> and even the way that like, Tom has kind of tried to sidestep talking about him and be like, I love my son. Next question. Chet Hanks is a trip. I just, I'm gonna leave you to do your own research. Whatever, however bad you think one of Tom Hanks' sons could possibly be, I promise it's worse. Chet Hanks, I don't even, no, no one this. wants this. No one I wants just, this. We, we, it's not even worth what going doing, into. Chet? It's not good. Yeah, just it's go, just go do good. your own research on that. Moving right into Tom Hanks' other son, Colin Hanks. Yeah, I wonder how Thanksgiving is at that family yeah. household. Uh, Cause Colin is great. Colin Hanks is an actor uh, who you've seen in various projects ranging from House Bunny to Fargo. I love him in Fargo. I loved him in House Bunny. Well, how about that? <laughs> how about that? You know, I think Colin Hanks is a talent meets opportunity. Yeah. I think it's a classic example of, yes, his dad is Tom Hanks and that name recognition does a lot for him, but he is a talented actor, so I'm okay with it. Yep, absolutely. Next up, we have Willow Smith, daughter of famed assaultant and also Jada Smith. Daughter of Will and Jada Smith. <laughs> yeah. Willow. Willow. I like Willow Smith. I like her voice. Yeah. It's a cool voice. I think she's unique. I think she's really stepped into her own artistry at her own pace. Yeah. You know, what a good way of putting it. bless us with I Whip My Hair back and forth. Which allegedly was like all her idea when she was like 12. Which now, I granted, love. I had ideas when I was 12 and my parents weren't Will and Jada Smith, but like that's still a really impressive idea no matter who your parents are. Absolutely. I don't know. I, I kind of think every step of the way with her, she's met the moment. I do too. This and is a talent meets opportunity. I, I think so. And I think she's really wise and really well spoken. Mm -hmm. And so I, I think in that way too, her talent meets the opportunity of having the platform that she has. The natural pairing to this one is Jaden Smith. Yes. Musician, artist, personality, yeah. tweeter. Yeah, his tweets are so strange. When his Twitter was like really trending back in the day, did you ever do that quiz that was like, is this a famous quote from a philosopher or one of Jaden Smith's tweets? Yes. <laughs> and it was like really hard to decipher them because philosophers always just kind of ponder this existential nonsense and mm -hmm. Jaden tweets existential nonsense Absolutely. all the time. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know how I feel about him. I mean, sometimes I like the stuff that he creates, but honestly, he gives me more of the energy of like, he would rather just be an unknown artist who can just like commit to the craft and paint. Like, I think, I think Jaden Smith would honestly be happy just out there creating. Yeah, buy a little shack in Maine with yeah. his parents' money and just create stuff in and obscurity just, like, and maybe get discovered a hundred years later. Yeah, I feel like that's a very that's brilliant. big Jaden Smith journey, which leads me to like, do, do you, you even, even want, want this? this? I don't know. That's brilliant. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Put him there. He's there. Great. He's there. Okay, next up we have Emma Roberts. I'm embarrassed to say it took me a really long time to understand that there was a connection between Emma Roberts and Julia Roberts. Oh, for real? I was just like, oh, Roberts is a common last name, right? 
the only other Roberts I'd ever heard of was Julia Roberts. I thought for the longest time that Emma Roberts was directly related to Julia Roberts, mm -hmm. but um, Emma Roberts is Julia Roberts' niece. Mm -hmm. Although a lot of people don't know that Emma Roberts also has an Oscar nominated Death. father. Mm -hmm. So again, kind of double dipping from the nepotism pot. Yeah. Emma Roberts, you know, <sighs> Scream Queen, every Netflix holiday rom-com. Oh yeah, that one thing with um, James Franco's brother, who's not on this list, but another nepotism baby. Fascinating. Wild. I think he's funny. Yeah. Mm. We don't have to rank him because he's not part of this, but... I think we can go back to the, to the test that we did before. Mm -hmm. Is she better than her Oscar-nominated and Oscar-winning relatives? No. Is she as good as them? No. No. So I, I think she's kind of a milk toast actress. To well, I think we're getting into subjective territory mm -hmm. with that, but it's pretty objective that like she's not Julia Roberts. You know? Yeah. So I think this is an opportunity beats talent. Because I do think she wants it. She's out here, she's working. Yeah. But like I don't think she would fit into the top two tiers. I see. I agree. Olivia Jade. Oh god. A classic example of nepotism gone wrong. If you don't know who Olivia Jade is, she is an influencer, mm -hmm. but most famously uh, center of college admission scandal and daughter of Lori, how do you say her last name? Laughlin. Laughlin. So yeah, the whole college admission scandal with Lori Laughlin, getting her into college. Then she's like quoted saying, I don't even care about college. I just want to be an influencer. I mean, it's just like the most prime example of why nepotism is a terrible thing when you are just so inflated about your sense of importance, but literally no one cares. Mm -hmm. This is a no one wants this if I've ever seen one. I truly like yeah. the fact that there are so many it, it's not even it's not even necessarily a slight against her. I don't know her. I don't think about her. Mm. But the fact that there are so many brilliant people who don't get to go to college, mm -hmm. who no one knows about, who have brilliant ideas, who have so much talent to share, and they will die in obscurity because mm -hmm. their mom isn't famous, but we all know who she is. Yeah. No one wants this. No one wants it. What else is there to say? Nothing. <laughs> all right. Well, then let's move on to someone that everyone loves. Ivanka Trump. Ah! Ivanka is... Trump. I mean, Ryan, honestly, off camera earlier, you said this in the best way possible. What qualifications does Ivanka Trump have to be a senior administration official to the president of the United States? None. I can't believe it. This is this was once the most powerful country in the world. People look to us with respect. I, this just, it was such an insane move. She does not belong in politics. What, and what I, there's merit? There's literally no, no merit. Does she have to make policy decisions? No, none. She, she was just Donald Trump's daughter. Oh and that my is it. goodness. Another slash clear girlfriend. example. Daughter oh, slash girlfriend. Mm, another example of just no one wants this. It doesn't make sense. No yeah. one wants it. In this case, she was double dipping as well because she mm. was... I'm stopping you from this one, okay? <laughs> no one wants this. She goes on the bottom. The end. <laughs> well, folks, that was our little nepotism tier list. Uh, who did we leave out that you just have feelings about? Obviously, there is so much nepotism in the world, but I am glad that there are at least some good examples of it. Absolutely. You know, some I... good talent out there. Talent speaks for itself, and unfortunately, daddy's money speaks for itself too. And that's the world we live in. It's complicated and it's not fair, but at least we have each other. If you want us to do a part two, leave some other nepotism babies in the comments that you want us to talk about. As always, be sure, sure to, to like, like and, and subscribe, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video, daddy. Bye! Bye.